Hello everyone, in this video I'll be telling you about a story that happened a long time ago in these streets, Najedheb, in Tunis next to Bebswika. Here's how the legend goes. Ahmed Tayyib was an old man who worked at a hammam. A hammam is a Tunisian version of a Roman bathhouse. His job was to feed combustibles into the boiler hearth, where vapor and hot water go through an underground alley and in pipes embedded within the walls. Ahmed Tayyib had a neighbor, Aisha, a widow, and her daughter, Zina. They were poor, living in a small dilapidated room where water seeps through the ceiling after the slightest bit of rain. One day, he suggested that they come and spend the night near the warm hammam spoiler. The widow was grateful for the man's kindness and accepted the invitation. One night, Aisha couldn't stand looking at Zina covered in suit and couldn't brush her long black hair. So she asked Amtaib to open the hammam so they can take a bath. But he couldn't accept such a request. How would he protect them from the jinns that roam the hammam as soon as it's empty? Jinns love obscure, humid, hot places. Ahmed Tayyib ended up accepting anyway after Aisha bagged him. He opened the hammam for them after the clients left, so the widow and her daughter settled in using a candle to light the place. They undressed to start taking their bath. Once in the hot room, Aisha and Zina took a little moment to sweat and started dozing off. That's when the wall parted in the center with a deafening rumble. A jinn came out of the hole. The widow and her daughter were horrified. The jinn reassured them and said, I mean you no harm, I have a deal to propose. This is your lucky day. All the conditions are met, year, month, day and hour, to open the fabled treasure that lie dormant for centuries behind this wall. Moreover, with Zina's presence, a pure virgin, pretty girl, who has everything she needs to distract the treasure's guardians, all she needs to do is follow me and gather as much golden gems as she can. Whatever she comes back with is yours. Reassured by the candle's light, Aisha watches her daughter go and waits to take the gift that God bestowed upon her. Zina starts going back and forth through the wall, filling up her mother's bucket with diamonds and gold until she ran out of breath. Aisha got carried away and ignored her daughter's tired face and pushed her to gather more jewels. The girl went deeper and deeper each time. The candle's light went out. The wall started rumbling, closing the hole. When the room was quiet, all Aisha was able to see was a bit of her daughter's hair coming out of the hammam's wall. She'll never see her daughter again. Since then, the hammam was called Hammam Dhab, and even today, some say that each night, Zina's hair grows through the wall again 